Can you tell me the fastest way to complete the dynasty CPR? Yes, so that you can complete it effectively, you need a good composition of party members. In the existing five slots, you will fill it with one tank, one healer, and three DPS roles. We will recommend the weapon combo and attributes for each role. For your tank, use strength and constitution attributes with sword, shield, and warhammer combination. For your healer, use focus and constitution attributes with life staff and void gauntlet combination. For your first DPS, use strength and constitution attributes with great axe and warhammer combination. For your second DPS, use dexterity and constitution attributes with spear and great axe combination. For your third DPS, use intelligence and constitution attributes with ice gauntlet and great axe combination. You also have to make sure that you already have a gear score above 580 and expertise above 600. Now let's talk about the mechanic of this expedition. Summoner Yao Phase. Tank is in charge of giving the corrupted aggro using the defiant stance skill towards Summoner Yao. After monsters gather at Summoner Yao, the tank must swipe the weapon again with a warhammer and use the shockwave skill which aims to give a stunning effect to the corrupted. After the stunning effect is a success, follow that up with the first DPS Warhammer Shockwave skill, this will give a second stun. Then swipe the weapon again with Great Axe using the Gravity Will skill and then Maelstrom while the healer gives Sacred Ground heal to the team. After everyone has been killed, one of the players uses the Azoth Staff to open the gate. Spearman Chiu Phase In this phase, the second and third DPS will be the main focus. Make sure one DPS is in charge of looting resources. In this case, the second DPS will be in charge of looting all Oracalcum War and Fire Moat. At the same time, the third DPS needs to activate all the booms. After the gate has been blown up by the boom, the gate will open. Commander Chen Phase When we enter the gate there, we will be greeted by Maiden Jingfei. Here we don't need to fight him directly. Tank is in charge of taking aggro until we go upstairs to meet Commander Chen. Then the tank takes aggro against all monsters, including Maiden Jingfei and Commander Chen. After finishing killing all the monsters, make sure the player goes down to the place under the stairs to take the chest. Lutnant Bolin Phase We will enter the fourth phase, which we call Defense of the Bomb. One of the players here just needs to finish taking the chest under the stairs. One of the players then immediately turned on the bomb and all the corrupted monsters would appear. This is done twice because there are two bombs. Make sure all the DPS quickly clears the monster with the Warhammer Shockwave skill, and swipe Great Axe with the Maelstrom skill. Isabella Phase In this phase, all DPS must be behind Isabella so that Isabella doesn't dash backward. This is done to speed up DPS to damage Isabella. After Isabella's HP reaches 50%, we will be confronted by two wild animals, namely Hoven and Oro. At this moment the tank must immediately provide aggro which is then followed by damage from DPS and the healer's sacred ground skill. After Hoven and Oro have been killed, it's time to take the chest near the gate. Captain Kaiwei Phase As usual, the tank immediately gave aggro to all corrupted from the bottom position to the left, followed by the healer in charge of giving a hit to Captain Kaiwei, who was positioned above near the gate so that it was aggro. On the other hand, DPS took the aggro position on the right and after everything was aggro, the execution place for all the monsters that had been aggro is in the upper right position of the house, where DPS gathers. While killing all the monsters, make sure there is one DPS player who has taken resources, namely Oracalcum or in fire mode in the right and left positions. Taying Phase The method we recommend is quite easy but risky with a tank that provides defiance stance skills to aggro Taying, then DPS is behind the boss's focus hit and skill to the boss. When the boss's HP is at 75%, Taying will fly up and bring up some corrupted things. This is done twice. When some corrupted appears, this is where DPS's job is to provide the gravity wheel with the right timing, then swipe the weapon to Great Axe using Maelstrom. After all corrupted die, Taying will come back down and immediately DPS take a position to deal damage behind the boss. Tanks are in front of the boss for aggro, as well as healer who are on alert for sudden attacks. Then the boss will cast a very wide and deadly skill area, this is where all players must do the right dodge timing. After we finish killing Taying, we can take the chest and get out. Thank you for the guide, I will go try it right away. You're welcome, please like this video so you can come back again later if you forget what you need to do. Also, you can comment below with what you want to know. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel for more informative content about MMOs.